Thank you very much indeed. And I'll try and cover some of that, although there won't be as much chat about trains as I would like. But we're here to talk about Go. Um, I'm super, super excited to be here. I'm Andy or Andrew Williams. Um, it is the first time that I've been here to go for con, so very excited to be up on stage. Yeah. I, I do a lot of coding. Go is my passion. I'm a startup guy, worked in businesses, do some writing. But mostly what I spend my time on is fine and related graphical app projects, which I'm going to be talking a fair bit about just now. And my day job is at Aptrix. We're doing a pretty cool vibe coding visual app builder product, but I'm not going to talk about that at all. I am going to introduce Fine. For anybody that's not come across this before, it's a way that you can write graphical native apps for all different platforms with a single code base, which is pure Go. Hopefully, you've tried it out or heard about it, but if not, a little summary. As with everything with Go, you can code it once and it's going to build onto all different platforms. There's no runtime libraries, there's no setup required, and we get high performance native applications. And for uh, apps, graphical apps as well, it's important that we can ship them to stores and distribute in all the normal ways. I'm hopefully going to show it's super easy to get started. And of course, being Go is promoting good engineering principles. We've touched on testing in other areas, that's all going to work for you here as well. But I'm not here just to talk about um, the simple parts of it. We'll get into embedded and so forth, but I had to show some code. This is just a really quick snippet to show what an application might look like. And uh, we have a window that's set up for our application. We set some content, hello, go for con. And I realize my code editor can't display emoji there. But if I just switch to the terminal, I can show that we have our Go file there is exactly as you saw on screen. I can run this fine application. It displays in the middle of the window, uh, but it's a bit too small. So let's just scale that up. 4.5. And we have a nice big window. That was our first graphical application. Nice and simple. And in case that didn't work, here was a couple of canned examples. It's going to match your system, font size, color configuration, all of the things that make it feel like it belongs on the platform. And that's going to work desktop, mobile, and in web browsers. But today, I wanted to talk about working without an operating system. So that might be a little bit of a bizarre concept. Why do you want apps without an OS? Well, um, we've heard, and hopefully people got to the, the Hack Lab yesterday for Tiny Go, an excellent way to use Go to build um, software that's going to run in embedded devices. There's other emerging technologies as well. Tamago and, is one of them. And there's also an ongoing discussion about a Go OS value of none, where you're not actually deploying onto a known platform at all. It's bare metal stuff. So we can deploy onto custom hardware and all sorts of esoteric devices. This would be fantastic and everything would work brilliantly, except for fine, we're trying to do all of the hard work for you, and there's only so much that you can do to auto-detect these sorts of things. And so we have a little bit more work to do to bridge this gap between um, the, co the code running that will auto-detect everything and the potentially complex hardware you're running on. I'm calling this bridging the driver gap. And in this work in progress, we have some new APIs Actually, just this main one that says set driver details. You can tell it how your device is going to draw to screen and how to process events, or you can use Finex with some common um, devices like this new UEFI driver that I've illustrated. And I want to just show that running as well. So I'm going to switch out to a different demo. And this time, I'm going to say make QMU. And this is running of a slightly more complex, but nonetheless straightforward, fine app inside an operating system container. And here, we have a catch the flag QR code that I'm not going to show you. But with the up, down, left, right keys, we can reveal that and capture that flag. But you're going to have to do that yourselves. That was one um, instance running. I could equally, using the make file that I have here, uh, run it through the tiny go uh, with a local display emulator, and that's the same app 
with a different configuration. That could be compiled with a tiny Go compiler and put onto your Gopher badge, for example. But of course, this is all just standard Go with a single code base application, all running exactly the same code. So if I just switch back there, those are the different ways that we could run that same application. We've got a single code base, and we're now managing to deliver on the fine ambition of a single code base that's going to work on any device with a screen. If you'd like to know any more about this project or the work that we're doing, please do reach out. The API that I illustrated is a bit of a work in progress. If you check out the code, which was linked earlier, apologies, I didn't mention it, it's on my GitHub profile. In my pre presentations repository, you'll see all of the slides in the demo code a little bit later today. We're looking for people to get involved in which hardware this should work on, how do we optimize for all of those different devices. We're on all of the socials. Go to docs.find.io to read a lot more about the project. And if you'd like to come and chat more about any of this, we're going to be in Edinburgh for our mini conference on the 19th of September. Lastly, of course, if you're thinking that's very small and I like to think bigger for my applications, well, this slideshow was a fine app. It's a um, markdown file that's rendered on screen. The terminal is a fine app, and everything has been running directly through that. And if I just get a little bit more meta, the desktop itself here is an entirely Go fine app. Thank you very much, everybody. That was exactly the response I was looking for. But I will tell you anything more about it that you would like later on. I'll be here the whole time and can't wait to listen to the other talks. Enjoy your conference. Thank you.